Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will discuss about another topic related to HTML, where we will learn how we can create a simple basic table in HTML web page. This is very important topic because in projects or even in your uh, day to day tasks, there might be some requirement uh, where you are supposed to create the table on a web page. So how to do this? So to do this, what we can do, we can simply use a syntax, a proper syntax in order to create a table. I'll show you the each and every step related to table creation. And I'll explain you all the required text that uh, you might be uh, and you might encountered in your interview question as well. Okay. Before we start, I just want to tell you that uh, prior to the session, we have already discussed various things related to HTML. And in this playlist, all session are in proper sequence and sync. So if you have not watch, watched the previously published session, then I recommend you to please go and check out the previously sessions, published session because they, as I mentioned, like they all are in sequence. So if you follow the sequence, then it would be very easy for you to understand the ongoing topic. Okay, fine. So yeah, I think now we are good to start with the today's topic. So let me show you how we can utilize the, how we can create the basic table in HTML. Okay, so right now you can see I have just noted down the basic structure of HTML program. Okay, so uh, with one heading only, like here I'm just uh, showing one text HTML by texture with a heading. So if I show you the output, you can press Ctrl S for save and refresh your web browser. So you will see HTML by texture. But this is the only thing that we have added so far. Okay, now it's time to create the table. So how to create the table? So first tag you need to create a table is table tag itself okay so nothing is complex you just need to write table tag use angular bracket then write table press enter close your angular bracket and you can see now the tag has been added closing tag as well because we are using editor now press enter so this is the first tag that we need in order to create a table this tag will instruct browser that this is the place where the table is resides okay fine now the next thing is we want to create a first row so to create the first row we need tr tag so simply write tr and close it and you can see now the tr tag is added so this tag is mainly used to tell browser this is my row if you repeat this tr tag then it will be considered as second row if you repeat it again it will be considered as third row but let's go step by step so this is my first row here what we will do we will simply add the first data using td tag so another tag is td tag so simply write here td close it and this is the td tag now if you want to write a td here in this it, uh, in this place itself then you can write otherwise you can press enter here as well okay now we will write here row 1 column one why because this is row one because we have added only one tr so far so this this part is one tr means one table row then we have only written one td that means this is only one column so td is representing column here for this part td is representing column which means table data okay now just save that code and refresh your web browser so you will see row one and column one is coming but it is not like a table like a structure right yes because we have not applied it any border yet i'll tell you how to apply this but before that just understand the concept how we are adding the row one column one okay now suppose someone asks you to add one more column so how to do this in the same row and do we don't want to change the row so just copy this thing td press enter in the same tr tag paste it okay now this is row one itself because we have not changed tr yet so it's change is uh, we, we just change we added one more td that means it is column two now so save it refresh your browser so now you can see this is the first row first column first row second column likewise if you want to add one more column to your uh, first row you can simply copy it again and paste it now make it as tr uh, column three just simply save it refresh it so now you can see first row has three column 
border is not there it's completely fine I'll tell you how to add this so don't worry we just added the data now if someone asks you to add another row so to add another row we will go outside this tr block even I would recommend to you to keep that comments as well so let's add some comment here okay so it's better to write uh, always with a comment so that other developers will able to understand what you are writing here okay so here I will write uh, first table row likewise we will add this comment again for the second row where we have ended the first year tag so here I will write commit is just to show you like what we are doing otherwise it will not affect anything but it's always recommended and better good way to use the comment line okay so now we will define the second row so to define the second row add another tr tag because tr means table row so this tag is added now it's time to add data so for data what we will do we will use td so it's time to add td okay all right so td has been added now what we will do we will write the data so write row to column 1 likewise let, let's save it first save it refresh your browser so you can see second row now data is coming in the second row until you change the tr it will go in the same row itself okay so td is added now it's time to copy it and add another second column so i'll just save it as this okay so now we have added the second uh, row second column now it's time to add another td for the third column okay so row to column three all right so i think now we are uh, ready with this so it's time to change it to row two and just save this and refresh it so after a refresh you will find that uh, second row has been added now okay likewise if you want to add another thing like another row then you can simply copy it from here and then you can simply paste it after this td and just change this to uh, I think we need to change this to second not sec okay and then we will make it as third row okay so now what we did we just copied the entire uh, TR and now we will edit it as per our requirement because we want to make it as third row this is my third row so I'll say change it to three and rest thing would be the same because column I want to keep in the same sequence so let's save it and refresh it so now you can see the code has been implemented properly and we can see each and every data in a specific position which we want to implement okay row 1 column 1 row 1 column 2 row 1 column 3 and likewise we have row 2 row uh, and row 3 now some of you might be thinking it's okay like we got to know like how to use td how to use tr how to use table tag but still it is not coming in a tabular format why because as i mentioned earlier also we have not applied a table row yet uh, sorry the border yet so how to apply border simply to apply the border you can simply go to this table tag and here you can write border enter and you can mention it as 1px okay now save it refresh your browser and now you can see the table is coming in the proper format okay so don't get confused like why it was not there it was not there earlier because we have not applied this property right this um, property uh, this tag um, inside this table tag there should be uh, one option for the border and then we can simply add this border as per our requirement okay let's go with 5px what will happen if we go with 5px so it will come like this okay now you can see the proper separation of each row and column that's why I have defined this thing in a tabular format even I just mentioned row 1 column 1 so that it would be a bit easier for you to understand the things right okay all right now the next thing uh, what we can do here is uh, like one more thing I want to make it very clear that it is not always uh, mandatory to keep uh, right like this this is just a text if you want to show something else here for example I want to show it as Monday so I can simply write like Monday and it will change to Monday okay so it, it doesn't matter like how you are uh, Monday here we can write Tuesday 
we can save it you can see Monday Tuesday is there and then likewise if you want to change the data you can change it okay so I just explained you uh, in a simpler way by adding this row one column one so that at least you can read okay this is let me refresh this after a save so you can see row one column one row two column so so these things has been added okay so yeah I hope this session is clear to all of you here we just discuss how to create the basic table and also discuss the various important text which is table tag table tag is used to tell browser that we are going to create table from here then we have next thing as tr which is denoting tr um, tr is denoting the table row then we have td denoting the table data clear so i hope this session is clear to all of you in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching texture myth